feel like I'm where I want to be. I guess my hair is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to share with you a little video of me outside and I used the GoPro when I did that one because I wanted to walk down the driveway but I'll show you that video in just a few minutes like right now. I just went out to the mailbox and I thought you know I should have taken you with me because this is what I did. I'll show you what I did. This ground here is pure ice. Look at this ice. And you know, this is what I did. I went, whee! Whee! Then I got to here and it's like dry. There's nothing, so you had to walk. But anyways, I went across, whoops! Almost fell there, forgot. I was gonna show you. Um, we're gonna cross to the mailbox. So we'll go back up. But it's nice out today. It's not even, it's not even breezy. Oh my goodness, and we're just wearing Jim's vest. Whee! Whoops, not so easy going up the hill. There we go. But it's pure ice, look at this. Pure ice. Well, we'll go back in now. We've had our fun. I remember when we moved into this house the first winter. Well, I'll stay outside and talk to you for a minute. Um, do I want to show you me? I don't know. I can do it, maybe. I When we first moved into this house the first winter, I don't know where to look on this camera. Um, there was so much ice, but I was pregnant. And I wanted to do what I just did. And um, Jim was very, very angry with me to do to try that. I said, I'm okay. And he thought, well, we shouldn't be doing this. I was probably, let's see, Jessica was born in March, and it was, it was Halloween weekend. And there was a lot of snow that year, and, or that winter. So um, it was probably, probably, probably November or so. I don't know. It was part of me probably cut out because I just made a mistake, and I don't want to keep it. So we'll talk to you all later. Bye. So we're never too old to play in the ice, or play on the ice, as you saw. And um, I told the little story you about... You should have waited for the clock to finish. That's all right. You'd be in the middle. That's all right. It's going to be bonging. <laughs> It'll okay. be okay. Uh, in the video, I told you a little story about me playing on the ice when I was pregnant. I was trying to think, when I was doing that little bit, I, I'm going to leave it all in, even though I made a mistake in it, because you don't know the mistake is there, except I said I made a mistake, and I may not keep it. But I was trying to figure out exactly when did I try to slide on the ice, because we moved in here on Halloween weekend. It was really a spooky weekend, because this house was really spooky. Um, and the mice were running around and making a lot of noise. There was a lot of mice in here. In fact, we set, I think I told in one of the videos, we set, I think it was 12 traps and we laid in bed and count the traps as they snapped. And then Jim would go upstairs with the coffee can, empty the traps, and then reset them and then we'd listen again and there'd be another 12 traps. Well, we lost one of the traps, but we did find a dead mouse when we were cleaning the house. I don't think we ever found the trap. Nope. The trap's yeah, got to be trap. under that one section of the roof of the ceiling that we did not remove. That's probably where the, all the money is too. I bet probably you. Does. And the jewels and everything. <laughs> probably. We'll never find it. The people that move here next will find it, if ever, when I, when I die. That's was in another video too. When I die, you can bury me. And I said, hang my clothes on a cherry tree. Yep, that, that song. Um, I was also going to talk, well, I didn't finish the story about moving in here. Ooh, I better finish it. And I was playing on the ice, but I was pregnant at the time because Jessica was the first child, the one that sang with me the other night. She was the first child that was actually born while we lived here. Michael was one year at the apartment for his first, well, I think it was almost a year, not almost even a year, a year not, not even a year. 
he was at the apartment because we lived in the apartment for a while and I remember the landlady saying when you move out don't move out in the winter well <laughs> we moved out just before the winter but it was because this house was available and we wanted to get in as quickly as possible before the snow came but anyways we were sliding on the ice and I was pregnant at the time and Jim he was getting really mad at me he says you shouldn't do that and I thought you know I roller skated a lot and I had really good balance at that time and I was enjoying it, everything was icy the snow was covered with ice everything was ice there was a, there's only a little bit out there right now but the whole yard had ice because it had like a uh, a rain and it froze quickly so it was like a skating rink on the lawn where the lawn would have been on the driveway everything was just ice and so I didn't get to play like I wanted to play but I did play a little I also wanted to talk about coffee how do you drink your coffee I drink mine well I drink a lot of it now because I figured out a way to make it taste good I used to drink it with two teaspoons of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. I used to put a teaspoon of dry creamer in it along with the homogenized milk because I wanted it to be creamy and I wanted it to be sweet. And so that's how I had it. Now I drink it with half and half, just a little blip of it, a blurb it. And I put in protein shake. Uh, a real itty bitty tiny scoop I can show you I'll show you this is the scoop that they give you this is the scoop I use for my coffee this is what you're supposed to put in and this is the protein shake that I'm having it's it's an okay one it's not as it's it's less expensive than the one I was getting that was really good for you but I, I like it because it's got just that touch of sweetness. It's got, this has, if you, re, if you read the carbs, it's got four grams of carbs. And then it says includes one gram of added sugar. So there is sugar in it. And it's got bad stuff in it. It's got some bad stuff. But, but I think it's a aspartame or non-sugar sugar. I don't know. what They've got, they've got a uh, multidextrone in here. And they've got, they've got um, carrageenan which carrageenan you don't want carrageenan dextrose they've got sugars in it I don't know what kind of sugars but anyway sucralose is in here I don't know there's a lot of bad stuff but because I use this tiny scoop versus this scoop see the difference this one takes six of these to make one of these so that's what I put in my coffee one of these to make it just sweet enough now Jim, he drinks his, well, he drinks it black most, if I bring it to him, it's black. If he makes it, he might put a little bit of um, cocoa powder, it's yuck, I think, because there's, there's no sweetness at all in it. If he puts any in, it's this stuff he puts in it. And then he'll put a little bit of half and half in and he whisks it oh, but butter. years and his butter he makes it like I don't put any fat in mine other than my protein shake that has whatever fat it has I don't know what it has but um, when we were first married he used to have his coffee with sugar a lot of sugar and milk milk. no milk just no, sugar when oh when we got married because you know, the way he, he used to drink it with sugar and milk, but he was at a friend's house. Now, this is how shy he is. This is why he never comes on camera. They had their coffee with just sugar, and they didn't have milk, and he was too shy to ask for the cream or the milk. So he learned to drink it with just the sugar. Then the sugar was giving him heartburn, so he decided that maybe he should cut the sugar out. So then he was drinking it completely black which is horrible. The kids would um, drink his coffee every now and then they'd say, can they have a sip? And so they'd drink it. And then once they tasted mine, which was mine was like candy, they didn't bother his anymore and they wanted my coffee. So the host used to say, are you going to finish this? And if I wasn't going to finish it, they'd finish it for me. And um, 
My father also used to put, he used to have sugar and coffee, sugar in his um, coffee and cream. And it got to where he had heartburn, so he took the sugar out also. And um, I think my brother did the same thing. They were getting heart, heart Sugar will cause heartburn for some people. So if you're having heartburn, in Italian we used to call it achidu. You got achidu? Ah, I never had achidu until I was pregnant. <laughs> but heartburn is what it's called. And we used to call it achidu. But, you know, in different dialects, some of you may say it a little bit different. I don't know. I know in where my father, because my father, now I'm going to go on to another thing. <laughs> my father, when he was in Sicily, he said that in his village, you understood everyone. But if you went a few villages away, you didn't understand anybody. And they were all speaking Italian. But because their dialect was a little different, they didn't understand. It's like when we go down south and people are talking. <laughs> yeah, to, um, in Georgia. I was going to say Bob in Georgia. You talk funny. <laughs> he talks real funny. And, well, he actually, he talks pretty good. Blue I can understand him. Yeah, Blue Bike and Doyle. You talk funny now, really. I have I have to listen. There's a lot of you that you're, you've got that southern accent, and you know it's a real easy accent to pick up. I don't know if you find that when you come up here or not, if you start talking like us or not. Or the people that are in... Um, Boston area, mm -hmm. they have a funny, New England. yeah, they have a funny accent. They sound different when they talk, and the people up in Canada, they say a lot of words different than us. Um, instead of saying progress, they'll say progress. Yeah, we mm -hmm. talk different than they do, and they talk different than us. But I understand them <laughs> very good. And then I wanted to mention one thing about retirement, what it does. I'm enjoying mine, but you lose your identity. It's like when people say, what do you do? Hmm, I do nothing, I guess. Now I'm in my nose itches. I don't lie. I'm, it's not a lie. I do do something, but I don't do nothing. I do nothing. I do got plenty of nothing. Yeah, nothing's plenty for me. That's, but that's what I've got. I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> but you do. You lose your identity. You don't. Yeah, a lot of people just describe themselves by their jobs. Now, when I was working, I was a teacher assistant or a teacher's aide or a behavioral specialist. Or, you know, I worked in a school, so that made it sound like I had something important to do. Now that I'm retired, I don't know what I say. I don't say anything. Nobody's asking. They're, they're not even asking anymore. It's like when you were single and you were... In my day, when you were single, everybody would say, Oh my, when are you going to get married? You'd be like 18 years old or 20 years old or 22 years old or 24. And they'd say, You better hurry up. Time's running out. When I hit 26, they stopped asking. Because when you were 26 in my day, you were going to be an old maid. So they stopped asking. I surprised them. I did not stay an old maid. I got married at 28. So... But if you're single, for you know, like you don't know how good you've got it when you're single, actually. Your um, house never gets messed. Your money never gets spent by somebody else. Unless you want to spend it on them and let, or give it to them and let them spend it. Um, there's a lot of, lot of benefits to being single, but there's a lot of benefits to being married, too. They say we live longer. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll have to find out. But I will still never know because I'd have to be, I'd have to have two of me. I'd have to be single for a number of years. Then I have to be married for that num the same, another person. I'd have to be, there'd have to be two of me. Can you imagine two of me? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> It'd be fun to have two of me. Oh gosh. Well, this is going nowhere. So I guess we're going to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.